offense that was dominant in stretches in a win against Brown, the in-state rival on Friday night. Landed here at 6 p.m. yesterday. And Torrey with a quick air ball in the opening shot. This is the team starting the man-to-man -man so far and being aggressive. Here's the matchup down low. Magasa versus Baldwin. And River is blocked. This is a top 10 blocking team in the country in Rhode Island, really affecting shots. Right, Magasa's averaging three blocks a game, and so you're going to have to take it stronger to try and draw a foul. Timmy Reese hit the portal hard this summer. Three new starters brought in via the portal. As Hyman misses her own shot, the Syracuse transfer. Six points a night, operates down low for the Wolfpack as the clock hits six. Kick out Collins, short on the three. Staff, could Rhode Island live up to the level of NC State? who's averaging over 85 points a night. And Baldwin off on the jumper. Look at Hyman going in there and a jump. Three-time All-American at Virginia has fond memories here at Reynolds Coliseum. We'll dive on that tonight. As James misses her first jumper and both teams are off to a slow start. Rhode Island with the big win Friday had four and double figures led by Toure. Here's the deep three and a nice start from downtown. Jada Boyd, who played for NC State last year, that could score at all three levels. Toure had 22 points on Friday, but gives up the blow-by layup that time to Baldwin. Absolutely great drop-off pass there by Madison James. Rhode Island's not a huge three-point shooting team. Only five made threes a game. Hyman with a nice step back. Couldn't hit. When Hyman faced NC State at Syracuse. Yeah, she earned all ACC honorable mention that season and, and a very talented young player. Facing a Wolfpack club that has scored with ease in the first four games as Baldwin hits the jump. One thing I like NC State's doing is they're really taking it at Magasa. Here's Dee Dee Davis, the grad transfer out of Manhattan, one of the all time leaders in assists for the Jaspers. Now the matchup down low. Magasa! Oh, banks it in. Nice move from Magasa down low. In the post. Magasa was the sixth woman of the year at Dayton a few years back. Comes now to Rhode Island. James creates some space. Can't hit the jumper, however, and an offensive board for Baldwin. She needs to get that first basket on her uh, on her 21st birthday. Get started. Instead, the kick out to Hayes. Nice pass to River. And a block. Magasa says no. A second block. It's Magasa's house here in Raleigh. Leading the fast break. Davis misses the drive. Look at Toure fighting for the board. And who's got possession here? Rhode Island comes out with it. How about the physicality early? Oh, it's amazing. And one of the things we wondered, would Rhode, Island, would Rhode Island be a little bit nervous and try and bring this game back to even? Tammy Reese said, can we match the physicality of NC State? As Sanaya Rivers off on the jumper. Move it. Everybody touching it, including Sophie Phillips at the three-point line. Collins on the switch with Magasa. Gets into her bag and misses the jumper. Right, and, and with Mimi on her, she's got a little bit more athleticism, was able to slide over and contest that shot. Rivers, tough angle. And that will. And I think they're going to start to fall for NC State. The Wolfpack team had scored 90 plus in three of the first four. As Collins hits the jumper, there's a big number to watch for Mimi today. A big career milestone, and, and we'll keep an eye on that as the game goes on. Phillips, the all-time three-point shooting leader at Rhode Island, dumps it downstairs and a nice pass to Awa Kamara. Minutes, balance scoring, six on the board for the Rams. But she's a very solid player coming off the bench for the Rams. One of six French women on this roster, and we'll dive into that today. Absolutely. Tremendous talent. Now down low, Baldwin, nice position. That's a good entry pass for NC State. It really is. He's seeing NC State put a big emphasis on going inside today and, and get it to River and get it to Mimi. There's a block for Baldwin, impactful first quarter. There is some adjustment, but they've got some veterans too that why they've been picked first in the Atlantic 10. Fresh off a 26-win season, four starters gone. Vital with a nice find of Toure. A bit strong on the three, offensive board. Defending the offensive rebound. James drives, is stripped, and good defense by Rhode Island. A lot of con Toure on the spin. Look at the fadeaway, an air ball, and an offensive board. Another one there for Kamara. The clock did not reset because of the air ball. Nice find to Toure, and great passing from the Rams. How about that ball move? That was incredible. They Rhode Island is a projected 12 seed in state, a top 5 seed. Exactly. So that 5-12 matchup, this could be a preview of the NCAA tournament in March. An and one for the freshman Zoe Brooks. As soon as she got in, she was able to put some points on the board. 
Brooks gets three points in about three seconds. In school history. Mallory Collier comes in. And also Maddie Cox, both freshmen. Down low to Bagasa. This is the matchup. Magasa pounds in, but misses the jumper, and that'll stay here. Hans, one of six Frenchmen on the roster. Yes, and we'll talk a little bit about that later, but the associate head coach at Rhode Island, Adney Amadou, is, is from France himself and has done a great job with international recruiting. Good kick out. Davis off on the three. Both teams shooting under 30% tonight. Good, good shot fake Hayes, and the rejection! Magasa's having none of it. In transition. Hyman the step through. Misses the reversal. Offensive board. Nice kick out. Hyman again. Can't hit. And Hayes earns the rebound, but a foul. Probably the right call at the end. Hyman in movement. Look at the class usage. That's a Syracuse transfer going to work. Yeah, and that was a great hesitation dribble. She was stopped by Sanaya, but the hesitation was she was able to get to the glass. Brooks with a quick shot in transition. Not able to go. Right, that's Coach Reese's alma mater. I'm sure that was a big win for her. But this would be her first ranked win because it is the first time that they've gone against a ranked team. Look at Hyman into her bag and knocks in the jumper. Here comes Collier on the screen. Rivers on the switch, gets it in, and that will end the first quarter for NC State. Year five at Rhode Island for Tammy Reese. Her and Odney have been hand in hand at a couple of stops. Yes. And brought in big time prospects with Magasa going down to work. Missed it, Hyman cleans it up. What a nice offensive board. You quick on that one. Tisha Hyman wants to prove something. She really struggled in Raleigh in last year's matchup, had zero points. Isaiah James with zero points so far. It is her birthday. I wonder if she's putting a little bit more pressure on herself to have a good game. Back down low to Toure. A little forced shot, and it bangs in. Wow, that was an excellent shot. It was almost like a half little baby hook. That was steal for Hyman. And look at Rhode Island making things happen in the they press. They absolutely are. Coach Moore is going right to a timeout right here. NC State really sagging in, giving that perimeter shot if they want it. Toure gets a shot. That was a good look. Unable to hit. There's Collier, who remains in after that first quarter. Rivers down to six. James with a great shot fake and hits her first bucket. It's coming up soon. All of a sudden, Reynolds comes to life in this second quarter. Phillips for three. That's a bucket that Rhode Island needs, and the rebound to Collins. Another good challenge there by NC State. Mimi Collins coming out. Collier running the court, wide open layup, and here's the Wolfpack back within six. Right, the freshman to freshman connection from Zoe Brooks to Mallier Collier. Big bucket for the pack. Davis wanted a foul, unable to earn it. Look at Collins, great post position. The senior with the step through and able to finish. Great job with the step through, and Coach Reese is going to have to go to a timeout right here. Absolutely. The 8-10 leader in blocks. And Brooks cuts this to a three-point game. She's had such a... Reese is going to just try and get through these four minutes with her on the bench, hopefully, for the Rams' sake. Great help defense there by the pack. Forced the turnover. Brooks, 1v1, gets to her space, but can't hit. That's one of those moves that made her one of the top ten recruits in the country. Just couldn't... What a find into Tot, and that stops the six-minute drought. Entering the final three minutes of this entertaining first half. James with a bullet. And the rebound to Rhode Island. You can visibly on the Wolfpack players right now. Back in transition, a missed layup. And an offensive board leading to DeBras. Short. Rhode Island's getting some good looks in this stretch. They really are. Just one of eight from deep. NC State feeding Collins, who's now four points from a 1,000 in her career. Excellent turnaround right there. Just kept it simple. I think Rhode Island really needs to try and penetrate against this zone. They're just passing around the outside right now. Toure dives into River Baldwin, switches feet, and bangs it home. That's a big bucket in a double figure. And the folks in Raleigh wanted a walk right there. Right. It, it was, uh, she may have slid a little bit, but it looked like a good strong move to me. Rivers into great space, uses perfect English to bank it in. You have to expect Rhode Island to keep going back to Torre. The zone defense is causing trouble for Rhode Island. And Dee Davis misses the jumper. 
you give her a chance to come off of that right here. Here's Hyman with eight on the clock. Hyman dumps it back out. Toure is doubled, spins away, comes up short to tot the rebound. And did that hit the rim? Yeah, because that's how they're going to get more open looks. Wolfpack have trailed it one game at half this year, and that lead dwindles quickly on the Baldwin bucket. Penetrated, drew the defense, was able to dump it off for the easy layup. How about Hyman moving quickly in a fourth shot in transition? NC State at number 14 in the country, back in the polls this week after a huge win over UConn, where Baldwin is blocked by Magasa. And a second block for Tenen Magasa. She is really incredible down. Ahead to Toure. Lovely transition from Rhode Island. Wow, a post-to-post -post fast break. You just... And now Toure's down after that layup. So she exits. And Anel de Tot comes in. With James hitting the first free throw. The trainer actually is going to take a quick look at Toure's ankle. Being behind the bench to be looked at. We'll have to keep an eye on that. NC State has now made 24 of its last 25 free throws. Davis spins, no foul. Nice jumper from D.D. Davis. The transfer from Manhattan. She was able to get James off of her feet. Instead, Hyman off the screen. Davis gives space. That's way off on the three. It was a high arcing shot there by Davis. I'm sure Coach Reese wants to get her back in as soon as possible before it stiffens up. I'm not a doctor, but Tammy Reese played a doctor in a movie 20 years ago, just, just a note, as Isaiah James misses the layup. What's the doctor prescribed here for Hyman on the run? Splits the defense. Missed layup. And now Rivers has it. Sanaya with all the speed in the world. Coast to coast. Give her the N1. Wow, you can just see she is faster than anybody else on the court. She broke through three Rhode Island players. She stayed. There is speed, and then there's super speed. Right, she went by Magasa Davis, and then Phillips tried to stop her. The whole game, they've led for 20 seconds. Right, and I think right now you can still see some frustration on the NC State sidelines, but you got to just look at this like a new game. It's a two-point game, and try and win it from this point. Phillips is trapped as this defense becomes pressured. Great double team there by Collins. Got it out of her hands. Phillips the three. Late in the clock. That's a huge triple. And not fall. Here's the second free throw for the birthday girl. And this time she hits it. That's her first point. This is not a team that chucks up the triple. Only three of 13 tonight. Hyman on the crossover. Sizes up Rivers. What a bucket. And between possessions, Rivers took out her gum. She was locked in, right? Yeah. Didn't want to get distracted. Rhode Island with his own here. Off on the birthday triple. Rebound, Collins. Mimi misses, and Torres got it. Up ahead now to Phillips. She's a threat. Phillips drives in, wanted a foul. And what an emotional response there for NC State. Great, great job by Madison Hayes. Rivers and one. And the crowd goes wild off of that one. Sanaya Rivers trying to take over this game. That's Rhode Island. How about this block, though, by NC State? Very good job. Madison Hayes was all ball right there, you know. It's always a risk when you put that hand down, but it was just smack right on the leather. And then Rivers has done this. NC State with a zone out of that press. DeBras in the traffic. Toure from deep. Nice two late in the clock. Rivers, the crossover to the free throw line and short. Whoa, little contact there, no foul. Hyman in transition. Nice lob. Magasa in the traffic. It's incredible because we know how much NC State likes to run. Instead, the Wolfpack working every second of the clock here with Collins. An in-between pass and shot. Here's DeBras. She's to short. Even with that missed shot. Zoe Brooks, so electric, but missed the layup. Now Rhode Island wants to run with numbers. Can get it to her. Didi has oh. it stripped by Rivers. Just lost control a little bit now. NC State's going to try and push. This has become a track meet in the final three minutes. Brooks hits the jumper. Packing it in. Fresh off a huge win Friday at Brown. Another turnover for Rhode Island. And here's Brooks in a three-point game. Brooks on the move. Rivers goes to the bucket. It's a one-point game. Instead, Brooks on the move. James, the shot fake. 
Nice bucket. NC State's first lead since the seven-minute mark of the first. Gets to her spot. Toure with the four fouls. Spins. Comes up short. The freshman Maddie Cox with a big. DeBras. Finds Phillips. Big three. Knocked in. What a great job of executing there by Rhode Island. They Sophie Phillips with her third three of the quarter, and Rhode Island's up two. The lead came off of that cut, made the three by Sophie Phillips, and the Rams are up by two. A club that has blistered opponents, winning by 30 points a game in the non-conference. Cox down low. Well, nearly dragged her pivot foot. Rivers takes advantage from three. First triple of the night. It had been a minute. And now Magasa. Into Collins. Magasa the spin. Nice bank shot. That's lovely. Rhode Island in foul trouble. Magasa has three. Toure four. And Cox an air ball. The NCAA tournament lost in the A-10 finals. Here's Magasa the mismatch. Nice pass. And the finish. What a find by Magasa. Possessions ago, but she was quicker on this one and That's got the layup. Before. Look at that thing. That's almost like watched some Mbappe growing up. Some no look friend. There's Rivers looking for the steal. Hyman into her bag a bit off. Here's where NC State's going to look to push. Try and beat that zone down the floor. A top 10 fast break scoring team in the country has been held at bay so far. Rivers to Collins. Nice jumper. We got a one point game. DeBras operates with 10. Off the screen. DeBras to blocks. Here's Brooks. The talented All-American freshman drives in. Phillips down low. Magasa. Nice pass. Toure extends the Rhode Island lead. What a pass for Magasa. It is Magasa now. She's expecting that double team and knows she can drop off that pass. Back the other way. NC State gets a bucket. There's James with the penetration in the DeBras. Toure playing with the four fouls. Fades away, and Torre hits it. Offense is a true freshman. What a big three. Cox the rebound. Collins is stripped by Torre. Yeah, maybe a little bit too unselfish. It's D.D. Davis, the transfer from Manhattan. DeBras short. Good defense there by Brooks. And NC's possession to possession basketball here, and let's see what he comes up with. Rivers versus Davis. Advantage Rivers. Davis, 1v1, blows by Brooks, and Cox, the last to touch it, it'll stay. is tipped and a steal. Brooks out to Rivers on the mismatch. Rivers missed it. James created some space and a one-point lead. That was another sort of like a one-on-one -on -one play there on the inbounds. On one. Hyman kicks. Toure misses, tipped out. Nice job. Hyman was able to get the tip. You got to feel like they're going to go to Toure as Here's much Hyman as possible. on the crossover. Can't hit. Rebound, Rhode Island. The most important possession of the night for Rhode Island. Searching for a top 25 win. Hyman around the screen. Hyman to her spot. Huge bucket for the Syracuse transfer. Rivers has been huge in this fourth quarter, orchestrating the comeback for the Wolfpack, who were down 10 in the second half. Shot fake, open three, knocked in! Isaiah James with a huge one. Magasa gets it back. Shot clock to 11. Magasa heaves, rebound, Magasa misses the layup. Oh, there's the back home run. cut, Rivers. And one! Sanaya Rivers puts the Wolfpack on her back. And James heaves it deep. Brooks hangs on and hits it. That'll wrap things up here in Raleigh. Last chance for Rhode Island. Toure lobs it downstairs. And the clock runs out on the upset bid for the Rams. NC State.